Hi, I'm WRTV's Amber Grigley, and these are your latest headlines. Two fire investigations are underway. First in Fishers, where a family was able to safely make it out of their home. The Fishers Fire Department says they were called to the scene on Worthington Drive on Sunday. The fire started on the back porch of the home and spread quickly. Now, the homes on either side were also damaged. Because of the heat, officials called in extra firefighters. The exact cause of the fire is still under investigation. And in Johnson County, officials say fireworks started a fire on the porch of a barn in Trafalgar. A deputy with the Johnson County Sheriff's Office smelled smoke in the area and alerted fire crews. Now, they got the fire under control in just 30 minutes. No one was hurt. The Trafalgar Fire Department says the property owners set off fireworks and let them sit in a driveway for about 90 minutes to cool down before moving them to the back porch of the barn. The fire ignited a few hours later. And a local official is dead and her husband is seriously injured. After a crash in Morgan County Saturday night, the sheriff's office says County Clerk Stephanie Elliott and her husband John were driving south on State Road 67 where their truck crossed the opposite lane and went off the road. Stephanie Elliott died at the scene. The sheriff's office says Elliott recently won the Republican nomination for Morgan County Auditor. Officials are asking anyone with information about the crash to please contact investigators. And you can find more information all listed on our website at WRTV. Kyle? It is going to be a warm one for our 4th of July, a little more humid as well. Temperatures already into the middle 80s by 11 a.m. And we'll get into the lower 90s for that afternoon high for your fireworks displays Monday evening. Look at that, still in the low 90s, even at 7 o'clock in the evening. Just an isolated shower chance, and that's mainly across the northern third of the state as we get toward 11 o'clock, still in the middle 80s and partly cloudy. We'll see a complex of showers, and there you can see by 10 o'clock Monday evening around Kokomo into the Peru area, and then more of a line of thunderstorms diving on through here as we go into the early part of Tuesday. Part of a more active weather pattern coming our way, a daily chance of rain right on into early next weekend.